Also ich habe das Wie lange hat es eigentlich gedauert hier? Der war schon lange ready, ah, okay. der langweilt sich schon. <lacht> So, um, okay, super spontaneous as usual. We're still in Cologne and um, it's right before a keynote at HRS and we are using their business launch down here and I brought my friend, Sven Oliver Pink. Hi. Entrepreneur from Cologne, if he has time for a coffee and then actually um, went here and said, well, why don't we record the video? And you're like, oh. Uh, Give me five minutes. <laughs> yeah, so that's why it took so long now. Yeah. What we want to share is we know each other for quite a while and um, there are some funny stories. Wir haben die letzte Beschreibung nicht gelesen. Das ist der letzte große Beschreibung. But I remember how it all started. So at my event, the Kutter Tour, uh, we were at a party and you were talking about, yeah, we do something with bags as a startup and we want to begin. I'm like, wow, that's super difficult. And then we went for a wedding to um, Portugal and we had to drive to the location and the two of us were driving and we When was that? 2014? 15, 14? 15, yeah. 14. 14. And we were three hours late. How can it be that we need here so long? What are you for an unfair navigator? It's <laughs> unfassbar. Yeah, but it's wrong with the interpretation. What is this? Ach so, when I say left, then you do right. When I say right, then you do right. Okay. But yeah. gas foods, also. <laughs> Because we completely... <laughs> went somewhere else and we will share some pictures of that and what I was so impressed about is your attitude when something goes wrong you always have a smile you always find a way to like go through the situation so give me some of that secrecy for entrepreneurs why is that yeah I mean that is one thing I learned through entrepreneurship um, and I um, Yeah, in the, in the first days of uh, my entrepreneurial experience, uh, um, it was like a roller coaster each day. And so I still remember the first, yeah, six to eight months that we yeah, quite one, uh, tried once uh, once a week. When so. you guys started with the bags, you ordered like six thousand bags from China, yeah, and you then hardwired a lot of money. Yeah, like two hundred k, and I and mean we had two hundred forty. For the, the whole year, so yes, and uh, it was our own money. We, had, we couldn't find an investor because nobody uh, was like, wow, okay, the three of you, no kids and bad at school, and you think you could uh, like... Uh, Revolutionize uh, the school bags. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so nobody wanted to give us money, and then, uh, yeah, we got some from the bank. And I still remember this last, uh, this night where I uh, transferred the 200K to China. Um, and I was like, yeah, they will send us 6,000 bags. I'm quite sure, I mean, this is their business. Uh, we visited them once in uh, Fuju. And yeah, six months later, the, the bags uh, arrived. And uh, so everything was okay. But um, yeah, we thought, okay, 6,000 bags. I mean, maybe the retail works with us. This was our plan, well, that was our plan. Um, but if not, no problem, then we, get new jobs, earn money, and we're gonna sell the backpacks through eBay or uh, on fleet markets uh, during the weekends. So, I mean, that would, 6,000 bags, I think that would take like 10 years or something to, to get rid of them, but we thought, okay, we get, we get the money back. The money is not gone, it's just in the bags. So that's, that's what I want to share, yeah. because it's, it's about the attitude. I yeah. mean, um, what I always say is, if you collect art and you buy a painting because someone else tells you, oh, that's a fantastic mm. artist and he will become famous once he's dead. Yeah. And you look at this painting and you think, oh, it's so ugly, but mm. well, it will cost a lot of money later. Mm. And you hate it every day. Mm. You have to look at it. Yeah. So um, if you look at this roller coaster, and I love that you mm. actually use that image, yeah. what would you say and recommend to people looking at that, thinking, I want to become an entrepreneur? Like, how would you make that decision today? I have no idea why we started that and why it was always important for me to be an entrepreneur. I don't know, maybe my, my parents have no entrepreneurial experience. I don't know why, so I don't know. And uh, also for my uh, co-founders, I, I have no idea why it was so important for us to do it. Mm. Yeah. Um, I learned through EO, so our uh, entrepreneurial network uh, where we met, that um, you shouldn't give advice, and that so there's just one advice uh, which remained, 
um, that you have to start once and don't stop afterwards. So, I mean, because it's, it's always a journey and if you, um, like this A and B testing, mm -hmm. is it the same? Yeah. So if you if you um, if you're not dogmatic in your uh, in your vision, but if you listen to the customer and if you if you talk to lots of people, so my my main success factor was communication. Yeah. So talk to lots of people and um, get feedback on your product and on your behavior and all this, and um, that helped us to find the way and to sell six thousand bags and. Now we sell more than 600,000 bags, so, yeah. So, keep going. And we just discussed we make another video because you guys implement a lot of new work in your culture, but yes. we will prepare that video. Yeah. So once we are on tour in Cologne, which will be this year for sure, we cool. meet. Yeah. And um, then we should definitely make sure we visit you guys. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe here. And there is another video. And uh, I see you guys next week. Thanks, man.